to the nearest airport or waypoints or whatever I like, so it's pretty cool. That's a huge dredge crane down there. Doesn't look like it's active right now. These are the remnants of strip mines. They actually completely destroy the landscape. At some point, they have to uh, fix it all, and they usually reclaim it and turn it into uh, wildlife sanctuary, wetlands, or something like that. If I should have to, there are plenty of good outs down there along those dirt roads. I would expect there to be major power lines around that dredge though. I think they're actually electric powered cranes, but they run off of a diesel generator? I'm not sure. There.
Girl around here. Beautiful morning. Sitting here hanging out, you know. That's all you can do when you're girl around is sit here and watch everybody else flying around having fun. Watching Rick on the video. He's kind of behind the antenna right now, so it's not a real clear picture. It's probably lost. I can, I can figure. But I can tell you there is one advantage to being girl around. Biggest advantage is being out here with my son and we're enjoying ourselves as usual. The second is, I'm not flying. Yeah, it's 12 o'clock somewhere. And uh, he can drive too, so. I'm sitting here drinking beer at 20 after eight. That is the advantage of being a gorilla ground. So the badass prop from London Ivy seems to be pretty well balanced. Right out of the box, I put it on my prop balancer, which is nothing great, and it seems pretty good. What a beautiful morning. So I've been enjoying the uh, videos, some of the YouTubers that they're putting up about the GoPro 7. It looks like it has its, uh, its pros and cons. The Hyper Smooth is just absolutely amazing. I, I think I might buy it just for that. So we'll see. I don't like the audio on it. I don't like to have to have a central mic adapter and extra crap because it's just more stuff to go wrong and have to deal with. This looks like a pretty much abandoned strip mine at this point, but it is Saturday. A lot of tire tracks down there. So I'm just flying over, scoping for any uh, power lines or obstacles before I go down, get a little bit closer look. So Parson and Bryant, you guys missed out today, man. Wish you were here. That thing is massive. Mosaic. Scan looks clear for any power lines. That's a big ass train. If my name was Tucker God, I'd fly underneath of it. But it's not. Shout out. Oh, let's climb out of here. Pretty comfortable cruising at about a thousand feet. That's right. Just butter speed. As my buddy Kyle O would say, Kyle Oakley, shout out. So I enjoy watching a lot of uh, YouTube videos. I really like the guys that interact with their viewers and reply to comments and such. The hottest new YouTuber is Elena Dickerson. That's Mark Honeycutt's girlfriend. She just has such a great attitude about flying and aviation. It's just a lot of fun to watch her and watch her enthusiasm as she progresses. I don't know, someone the other day said I was a narcissist because I wanted to film everything and show everybody how much fun I was having. I thought about that a little bit. Yeah, you're right. I am having a lot of fun. I really enjoy filming the videos. I really enjoy editing the videos posting them and seeing how many views I get and comments and, and interacting with the viewers. 
So that's why I do it. I'll probably never be a money-making YouTuber, that's fine. I just do it for fun. Wow, look at that horse. That is absolutely amazing. Woohoo! Well, I'm gonna ease back toward the airport after that little adventure. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching and coming along for the ride. If you liked the video, reach down and push the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe and follow along. Grill out.